Good evening. Welcome to the Beauty Room. Hello, my name is Dawn, known as the Beauty Room. Today is March 15th, 2022. It's on a Tuesday. So happy Tuesday to everyone. Hope you all had a great day. If you're day or night, wherever you are. And I hope your children had a great day in school. Hope you had a great day at work. I am. Hope you had a great day, period, because every day is a blessing. So hope you had a blessed day and continue to have a blessed day and a blessed week. But before I get started, to make sure you you have something to drink of your choice, so coffee, tea, sit back, relax, watch this video, get your makeup brushes with me if you want, or taking notes if you want. And yes, make sure you grab yourself a snack, enjoy the video, and sit back and relax. So today's video is going to be not a get ready with me, just my favorite beauty products that I love using. So I got that sign right there that is from Five Below and it says live your dreams, of course. So if you're a new subscriber, thank you for choosing this YouTube channel, The Beauty Room. Thank you so much and thank you for spending your time with me and your few moments with me by getting started with me. So let's get right into the products. So the first products I put on my lips is the Jelly Jam Lip Mask. This is from Shot Miss A and this is in Strawberry. This is how the inside, I mean the outside of the tube looks. And this is how it looks like. And you're going to get right into, put this on my lips for right now. So, yeah. So that's number one. And this is like usually like a dollar between a dollar and a dollar eighty eight from Shop Miss A. So definitely check out Shop Miss A. I'll leave the description of the shop uh, the website or Shop Miss A in the description box below. But yeah, I really like using Shop Miss A. I really like Shop Miss A products. And someday, one day, Shop Miss A will maybe sponsor me one day. So I'm praying on that. I'm praying on a lot of success with my YouTube channel. So Continue to pray for me and I continue to pray for you all as always before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning I do pray for you all so <clears throat> And then the next thing we're going to use this is from elf. This is a jelly pop I've never I think I tried it one time, but I want to try it another another time now So just a you know make sure I really like it and this was around between Six to ten dollars if you can website definitely go to walmart and target but mostly at walmart if you have a local walmart in your city and state area that you um, that you are in living in definitely check out your local walmart for the elf jelly pop dew primer so today's weather was about almost 50 degrees today for us it was part partly sunny so that's a great thing in our area in michigan if you if you live in Michigan or you know the weather about Michigan, but yeah, if you're in a different state and city, um, how was the weather in your state? You know, was it somewhat sunny? Was it nice? Was it cold? You know, and this week we're going to be getting around 60 degrees on, I believe, Thursday. And then Friday we're supposed to get between 60 and 70 degrees. So yeah. And I just got off work um, tonight, about an hour ago, at 6 o'clock. But we wanted to get Taco Bell for dinner. And that's what Hamilton and I did. So what was your off dinner tonight? What did you all have for dinner? It was a good meal, something simple and easy. Tacos, you know, Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. So yeah, or lasagna. You know, they have that ready-to-go lasagna box with the noodles. You can just put it into the casserole, your casserole dish. And put your ground beef, your sauce, or whatever. And your ricotta cheese or your uh, sour cream, whatever you use for to make your lasagna. Do you use Swiss cheese or do you use Kobe Jack and Swiss cheese? Do you use mozzarella cheese? What do you put in your lasagna? Let me know. I have not made lasagna, lasagna yet for Hamilton and I because... We're really trying this year to stay away. <clears throat> excuse me. We're trying to stay away from from like red meat, but we're trying. We are really trying. So this is another product that I like to use as well. This is the She Glam Ready Set Primer from uh, from 
is it no not cherry from sheen sheen, sheen i'm sorry sheen i cannot talk right so i apologize if i'm rambling babbling i'm so sorry but yeah this is from she glam from sheen website i also will leave that website into the description box below but yeah this is one of my other favorite top things to use so this is the setting eye primer and i'll put that on my eyes now well not now i'll do my eyebrows now because there are certain things i go back and forth with using to run for my eyebrows and let me get to it in one second here oh i usually have it oh boy but you know i'm not gonna do my eyebrows today because i cannot find what i need to have but let me just check in my extra stash to see if i have it anywhere else oh yeah Duh, i'm sorry put it into this container i got this container from walmart so yeah i got this from walmart and it was like under a dollar it used to come like three in a pack or individually stacked when you see you know containers at your local walmart so this was like under a dollar or something or something like that but yeah this is one of the products that i love using it's not this one this one it's not the Sima brown nope let's see i do have it yep, here it is this is the wet and wild Sima brown this is for my eyebrows this is what i this is what i normally use for my eyebrows but i use other products too so yeah um it's not bad so i love using it and this is how i do my eyebrows but if you have your own way to how to do your eyebrows you mostly definitely can but this was under a dollar i usually get this at walmart or five below for under a, for like a dollar so definitely check out your five below store and walmart so and i just use my finger right here to make sure i get it right and i don't go too far up because i like to just set it into my eyebrows just like that just not too far you know away from my eye like from my eyelid and then i do the bottom just like this but i don't go like that close i usually sometimes like how i, I used to do that but like i said I, I go back and forth with how i do my eyebrows but i'll do a video on that if you like me to do a video up to date video on how i do my eyebrows for 2022 i would love to do that for you all see so that's how i do my eyebrows and then i just pencil it in with this so i just go like this it just takes usually a few minutes just to get it right and get it together so yeah definitely make sure that you know you take your time with applying your makeup if you're going anywhere or you know something like that and i usually go like a little bit more further out with the pencil just like that and then i do the other side so again i just take my pencil my eyebrow pencil i've been using this for like a long time but i usually have a backup of a backup of a backup of this pencil <laughs> yes i usually have at least eight to ten of these pencils but then there's other products i like using so <clears throat> just like that and then I connect the top just like that so that way it won't look you know too scary too squarey ish at the end of your eyebrows and then I just take this at the bottom just hold this like this okay yeah that's how I, I'm gonna zoom my eyebrows and I just pencil it in just like this just to get make sure i'm doing it right okay and i usually have my other mirror here so i can just see so i have this on i just turned it on so to make sure i'm doing it right yeah it looks like it's about right okay so then i just take this and so in just like that yeah but i would definitely do a 2022 eyebrow tutorial if you like to see that on what i do differently or if i keep it the same you know i'll do a video on that so look out for that future video 
and yeah today was a good day at work i had a great day at work you know no complaints no customer complaining not about me but just about their order or whichever it was a great day today so i hope you all had a great day today at work or running errands or cleaning your house or taking the kids to school or having an in-home school you know at home with your children i hope it was a great day today because every day is a great day because we all woke up this morning the children woke up this morning it's 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 a great day so then <clears throat> after i get all that together with my eyebrows i oh boy i had this all set up but knowing me just totally messed it up but i do have another video that i want to do and it's about makeup as well and so i'll do a video on that coming up soon look out for that video and yeah some other videos that i want to do and i'll put this like this and these are from shop miss a these are the new concealers that they have so this is the soft tan this is the soft hand. I'm going to use this like on my bottom eyebrow. And then this one is from Shop Miss A also. And this is the Cap and Cappuccino. So I'll use this like on my upper eyebrow. So but before I get started, <clears throat> I want to just make sure that this is all blended in my eyebrow. And I just take a few minutes, really. I take my time with doing my eyebrows because. My eyebrows is my definition look to, you know, etc. Of to my eyeshadow look as well. And so I just take any pencil that has a spoolie at the end. Or if you have a spoolie, you know, just by itself. You can get the spoolies pencils too at Shop Miss A for a dollar. Between a dollar and a dollar eighty eight. So definitely check out Shop Miss A for your spoolies that's like this. But this is just a Believe Beauty pencil with the pencil and then the spoolie from Dollar General. I'm just using the spoolie, but this is a different, this is a, a great eyebrow pencil as well, but it's kind of like clayish, type of clayish, but it works out really smooth. You gotta just take your time with your eyebrows and make sure that you got them right, you know, because applying makeup is definitely a time consuming um, thing to do. If you really love makeup and love what you do, like I have a passion for makeup. I love makeup. You know, I like to see what's new, what's out there, what's everybody doing, you know. And yeah, for the past eight days, today was my eighth day working. And I've been working so much from in early in the afternoon until like late at night, like after 9.30 at night. Um, I've been extremely busy, so that's why I have not been doing any filming. I'm so sorry. I apologize about that, but I will make it up to you all because the my beauty real family is very important to me. Just as much as I'm important to you all, you're important to me as well. So I'm going to make up those days that I have not been doing, but also I want to try to uh, make up a schedule for to do YouTube because with work and becoming home late, you know, I don't want to be so not depressed, but just like laugh, you know what I mean? You know, coming on video just as, you know, I know you all accept me as I am. And I love you all about that. I appreciate you all so, so much. Even if you're not subscribed, you're definitely looking at my videos. I appreciate that so much from my heart. I appreciate each and every time that you spend time with me. And I love doing what I do because I have a passion for what I do with my YouTube videos. I love applying makeup. So we're just going to use this um, this pen, pencil, this brush from Real Techniques. This is a detailed brush, a detailed brush. So it's usually for your inner corner with your shimmer if you have from an eyeshadow palette or a glitter that you want to apply to your eyelids. But I'm just using this for my concealer. So this one is a soft tan, so I'm going to apply this <clears throat> on to my lower part of my eyebrows. And this is just as much as I use onto the onto the brush. And I just like I take my finger just like this. I look up sort of kind of and then I just 
go like this, like a smooth type of motion. And then I usually go up like this. It works, it works pretty good. I really do like this. It's not bad. And you just take your time. Just applying it. You want to go kind of little above your eyebrow because you want to get that defined shape so i'm gonna look on my side mirror so give me one quick second and i'll give you all my final thoughts and opinions on all the products that i use that are my favorite products to use for my eye for my face my eyebrows and my and my eyes so i look up and then i just go like this just take my time with it and this is very smooth i like the creaminess of this so that's a plus for me so yeah yeah this is very creamy I, I really like it not bad and this is just my first time using it as a usage so I do like it and then whatever else left is on here I just use it um for the rest of my brow So the the down part of my eyebrow looks very very good to me. It looks very natural. So <clears throat> in my opinion, this is very very good for any skin tone type that you are. This is very good to use. You can use it for any spots that you have, you know, or whichever for your um, dark circles, anything like that. This is be definitely this is be definitely very good. For any type of skin tone that you are, if you're lighter than me, or shader, or lighter than me, or if you're darker than me, this may not be the shade, but you may want to try a, a different type of concealer, maybe a darker concealer, maybe like a, sh a shade inch lighter than you. So definitely keep that in mind. Or you can always use any concealer that you put underneath your eyebrow, you know, underneath your dark circles. You can definitely use that as well as a concealer. So I do go back and forth, but this is going to be for my top. So I'm going to take my towel that I have right here. I'm going to do my upper part of my eyebrow. Yeah. And then I just wipe this excess of the other off with the towel. So I'm going to do my upper now. And I don't really apply too much to my upper. Sometimes I'll apply concealer to my upper or I'll leave it just as is but since I'm doing a video I want to make sure that I'm doing this right so I'm just start off looking at my mirror because I cannot do it and talk so So then the upper looks really good. So I'm going to put a little bit more onto the brush. Not a whole lot. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did to this. But I'm going to let you all see how I do this. So just like that. Just to get that, you know, type of shape 
and then I just go like this. Okay, now I'm gonna look in my mirror just to make sure I go. I did this right. And then sometimes I just use my, you know, finger just to make sure I got it right. And look, it looks good. So when you work with your eyebrows, just take your time with your eyebrows. Because you don't want to, you know, rush, you know, to apply your makeup. So, yeah, so I'm going to give you my opinion on two of these concealers that is from shop miss a website for between a dollar and a dollar 88 i'll give you my honest opinion on those and now i'm going to apply this she glam eye primer by sheen i'll leave that website in the description box below yeah so yeah and then we're going to apply a eyeshadow palette i've been wanting to use forever and I've just been working so, so, so much, everybody. So, I truly apologize for being absentee lately. It's just with work. Work, work, work. But, I'm home and I'm with you all. And I love being home with you all. And you all watching me apply my makeup. And I just had a brush. What the world to do with it? Well, okay, so... Like I said, your fingers can be your tools for makeup. So, and then there's sometimes I like to use a, um, a, a brush to apply my foundation. I really like doing that sometimes too. There's sometimes I go back and forth with using a beauty blender. So, I mean a beauty sponge. Beauty blender, beauty sponge. But I think it's called beauty blender. But, you know. But it's called a beauty blender so and you just want to make sure you get you get your beauty blender wet squeeze out any excess water that you have so that way when you apply your foundation it won't you know you won't get that wetness onto your face so i'm just going to use this brush that i got from sheen's website for like a dollar fifty to two dollars or three dollars and fifty cents so it's between a dollar and three dollars and fifty cents for a makeup brush to have the hole. So that's where you apply your foundation at right there. And yes, and I already put my primer on my face as you see in the beginning of the video. Yes, so I'm gonna do that. And it's about that much that I apply. Just and if I need more, I'll apply more. And then this is another beauty powder that I love to use. And this is by Pro Fusion um, Foundation. I love it. Love it. Love it. And it gives you a between a medium and a natural finish. And this has SPF 15 in it. So that's very, very good for, you know, if you're in a sunlight all day or half a day or whichever, you know, this will give you the extra protection that you need. And they also have, they also have foundations in the stores too as well they have spf 30 and that's that gives you the extra extra protection as well for your skin so your skin won't be get sun damage from the sun and sometimes i will do like one coat or two to my foundation but today i'm just going to do one coat because at the end of the video i'm going to just end up taking this makeup off so i don't want to do um a lot of makeup so i just wanted to, to do a video today to let you all know what i use what favorite products that i love using so we're almost done you also always want to get your ears too as well when you apply your foundation 
I always want to get the ears because ears is definitely a must because you don't want to go out, you know, if you got to go somewhere, you know, with your girls or with your husband or your boyfriend or your fiance, ladies, you know, or guys, you know, you don't want to go in there with your boot and have your foundation on your face but not matching your ears. So make sure you get down to your neck. And yes, I have dimples like right here. <laughs> um, Yeah. But I never really seen them as much as I do now as I got, I'm getting older, you know, wiser, but older, you know. Then you always want to check with your mirror too to make sure that you got every little inch of a spot onto your face with your foundation. And I really like using this, uh, like a foundation brush too. But like I said, I go back and forth with using a foundation brush or a beauty blender. I just squeeze the excess of, you know, the water from the beauty blender. So that way when I apply my makeup, you know, um, I won't have the excess water onto my face. Yep, wow, it was just one one use of the pump. You know, I, I, I showed you of that, my foundation. It looks really good on my face. It's, it gives me like a natural look. And there's some days I use, usually like a natural look. And there's some days if I'm going out with Hamilton and I, he surprises me on a date. I will put the extra foundation on, you know, to give you the full coverage. So you can have like that flawless look. But yeah, this is from Profusion. You can also, if you do not, if they don't have it in stores at your local Walmart, um, you can definitely get this. Um, at, well, at the Profusion website, I'll leave that as well. I had to think of it for a second. But the shade, if you're wondering, I'm a Deep 3 Neutral. Deep 3 Neutral for my type of skin tone that I am. So, yes. Now that's done. I'm going to apply the concealer. This concealer is from e.l.f. This is one of my other favorite products I love using. And this is the 16-hour Camel Concealer Matte Finish. And I just usually put it just right here. And I do it just like this. I go back and forth, you know, to how to, you know, where I put my concealer at. And that's usually it. I don't put it, whoop, sorry. I don't put it onto my forehead or, you know, I usually, I used to do that. But now I just don't put it underneath my forehead no more. I like to have my forehead like a natural type of look. You know, but if I'm going somewhere, then I'll apply, you know, concealer, you know, to my, um, to my forehead. If Hamilton I go somewhere, really, really nice. So, yeah, I have the blinds open in the beauty room just to give me some extra sunlight because it's daylight savings time now. And it was just a few days ago and we lose an hour of sleep. And I believe a customer told me today too that they just had it on the news where they they're making sure that um, the daylight saving time stays as is. So they just had like a meeting or vote on it, and in the like government or something like that. He said or state or something like that. But yeah, it's really 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 weird. I mean, you know, I should I I feel like they. Could have just kept it and left it alone but you know it is what it is at the end of the day you know we as people just gotta just roll with the punches you know and just stay humbled you know what i mean so and yeah so yep okay so now that is it for the concealer that I used. And now we're going to the fun part is the eyeshadow palette. It's from Profusion. It's www.profusioncosmetics.com. And this is it. Oh my gosh. I so cannot wait to dig in this. I've been wanting to dig in this for a long time, you all. I've just been heck of a busy with my work schedule and all so i hope you are liking this video 
please give this video a thumbs up comment like and subscribe share with your friends and family and tell them all about the beauty room it's a youtube channel that's doing makeup tutorials yes and the brushes i'm going to use i want to show you these these are from sheen's website some are from elf so yes it's sheen elf in here those are the main two uh, websites and stores that i go to I go to like Walmart and Target to see if they have any more Elf brushes in which they do. I normally like the black um, brushes from Elf because it's a more better product or brand to me. So yeah. So definitely check out your Target or Walmart for, for brushes. So you can also, when you get this palette, this is called Cheers. I'm going to say that part. I apologize. This is from, this is Cheers. This is their new I shot a palette from last year, but it's from Profusion Cosmetics. So definitely check this out. This product, this palette, excuse me. You get 21 shades plus a brush, which is this right here. So to match the eyeshadow palette, I like it. And we're going to go in. I want to do a green look because it's about to be St. Patty's Day. I mean, St. Patty's. St. Patrick's Day. So if you're. Um, if you like St. Patrick's Day or if you're Irish or <clears throat> like that, definitely look into this palette from Pro Fusion because you'll love it, ladies and guys. Oh my goodness. So, uh, I want to do green because I always do like a orangey type of color. I want to do green. I've never done green on my eyes. So, we're going to go with this shade right here. And this is called Envy. So, yeah. The good pigmentation on it so i've never ever used it before so i'm gonna go tap 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 like that and then smooth it on out so yeah i hope you all are while well, watching this video sitting back relaxed got the kids already are someone already in bed if they gotta go to school tomorrow morning or if you're on va on vacay with the family or just getting back or just having a a road trip and you're just getting back with the kids and hubby or with and with the in-laws as well you know hope you all had a great time going to apply it again you know, I want to tap off the access to it oh wow okay this is looking nice I've never tried a green onto my eyelids wow Okay, because I figured you know green, you know wouldn't look good on me. But you know what, you gotta get off of the neutral color sometimes and go with any color that will look good on you. So I like it, and it's called Envy. So let me look in my mirror. So it looks, oh wow, it looks good. This is a this is a good eyeshadow palette, whatever skin skin type that you are. This will look pretty on you no matter what. Okay, so now we're going to go into Rebellious. I mean, Re Rebellious. It's right here under under Gecko or Gecko. So we're going to go up with this shade right here. It's called Rebellious. I'm going to use the same green. But I mean, it's a different, it's a darker green, but I'm going to put it like right here. And see, I have hooded eyes, so it's very hard for me to apply any eyeshadow. But I do the best that I can, you know, to my look, to my eyes. So that way, you know, it'll give me like a nice type of look. And I don't like to go too far up because, like I said, I have hooded eyes and... You know, I just want to make sure that I'm applying the right, you know, shade to for me. And then I want to go in. I don't want to use the pencil, so I want to go. I mean, the brush. Sorry, I'm going pencil. The brush. So I want to go in with my finger. But I want to apply two um two shimmers. I want to try the. It's called the 
gecko um not gecko yeah right here is the gecko the shimmering type i want to apply it to my finger sir so you can see it first so you can see that pigmentation is not as pigment but we're going to apply it and just see how it looks right there and then i want to apply a different type of shimmer I want to apply, I want to apply, it's called whiskey, right here. I want to apply that. See, that's a goldish type of glitter. Wow, okay. Mm, okay, so I'm going to apply those two to my lid again, but I'm going to um, apply you the other, use the same that I use onto my right eyelid. I don't like to apply too much um, eyeshadow to my lid because I have hooded eyes. I have hooded, I have hooded eyelids, so I don't like, I, don't, I try not to apply too much to, you know, to me. So, but you can definitely get this eyeshadow palette if you see it into Walmart stores. But if you cannot get it at Walmart, go to www.profiloncosmeticss.com to get this palette. And yeah, I would love to see how you all... Put a look together any look that you want is totally up to you but this is just in what's um like my favorite uh, makeup look not favorite makeup look but what i love to use and a new eyeshadow palette for 15 dollars so yeah this is about 15 dollars onto the profiles and cosmetics website i highly 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 recommend this palette and yeah see how the green just comes out it looks super duper beautiful on any skin tone that you are this it look super pretty on to your skin type okay so we're gonna go back into a darker green that I used okay So yeah, I wish you all can see this look is super pretty. I mean, you can see it, but not as much. But you know, like I said, onto my skin tone, you know, you can see the the eyeshadow shades, but not as good as you can see onto a lighter skin tone. But I do the best that I can. So I'm gonna continue on with this look, and I'm going to try that green type of shadow shimmer shadow no. okay now I'm going to go into the that brownish orangey type of colors called whiskey Okay, so now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm going to apply a other shade that could be like right here, but in a corner. I'm trying to find a really good brush. I'll just use this brush right now. But this is like a smudge brush, and this is from Shop Miss A, and this is the AOO Studio. This is E118, and I'm going to apply. Mm, like this shade right here and this is called fame just to my inner corner to see how it'll bring out just a little bit 
Okay. Wow. It works out pretty good. Not looking too bad. So yeah, this is called Fame. I'm just applying and it looks very, very good. Okay. So and I want to put a darker shade, but I like how it looks. So I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Cause I'm not the best at applying makeup. And I'm so sorry about that. I'm just putting that away. And yes, so now we're going to apply the eyelash. Not eyelash, we're going to apply some mascara. And these products are also from Shop Miss A. This is the for the bottom. Let me try to find the one for the top. Yep. So this was like a between a dollar and dollar eighty-eight from Shop Miss A. This goes onto your lower of your eyelids. I mean your eye your eyelashes and this goes to your top eyelash and this is also a flat it's called a flat lash mascara of course it's in black and in black as well this is the 3014 fat fat lash mascara l70 for the skinny one 3015 skinny mascara l90 they are used they're about two dollars each or about that much or maybe a little more over but we're going to start with the bottom. So yeah, then and then I'm ooh, whew, messed myself up. Pretty much done with this eye look, but give me one second. Okay, so I like really using this type of type of mascara because for the skinny, because the bottom, you know, for the bottom of your lashes, you know, you want something, you know, to bring out the pop of the look. So I really like using this. It's not bad. This is like my second time is using this, and yeah. Okay. Wow, this is this looks really, really good. It looks really nice. Now I'm gonna put something onto my um to my waterline as well. But before I do my top, give me one second. I'm going to use this green lime from Amore Us. It's www.amorususa.com. I'm gonna put this in my lower. I'm gonna put this in my. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my eyeliner, my inner eye line. So I'm going to do my eye line now, so that way you can get more of the type of look. But you don't have to use this lime green, but I want to use it for my inner, for my eye, my eye line. Let's try to bring out this look a little bit more. If it'll work out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's there. Um, I could see it, but not as good as I want it to. Okay, now you can see just a little bit more, but like I said, if you're my skin tone, you know, if you're lighter than me, this will work out. This is the gel eyeliner. Okay, so definitely, definitely pick up this gel eyeliner, and it is a lime green. It's lime. It's because it's lime. 
So definitely good gel island. I do like it because it's something different to my added to my eyes, to my makeup look. And now we're going to apply the mascara from Shop Miss A. Ooh, I was poking myself in the eye and I did. So as you see now with the mascara and then without, hope I don't poke myself in my eye with on this side to my eyelids. I mean to my to my eyelashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta stop poking myself and my goodness. Okay. And then I'm going to put something on my list, but I don't know what. So, and if I was to go somewhere, I would definitely would use this, but this is just a setting powder from sheen this is the baked glow setting powder chocolate you know what i want to use it but i don't think i even opened it up yet darn it i should have done that Dang it. Uh, yeah yeah let me just see if this the lead one is open nope wow okay <laughs> but you know how a setting powder go onto your makeup but i will do a better tutorial with using either one using one of these but it dropped that's okay so i'm going to apply a lipstick if i can find one and one second right back okay i'm back <laughs> i had to grab a lipstick so now i'm wiping off that lip mask and you can definitely use that at night after when you're done you know um, cleaning your face getting your face nice and moist and that's what i'm gonna do tonight too so then i just put this on and this is by revlon and this is called the 860 sheer pink truffle it gives you like a natural type of look i mean let me check you show you let me show you see it gives you like a natural type of look you really can't see it unless you know you can buy it yourself but yeah i mean i do like it you know it gives you like a natural look but also i have been doing my own hair um like yeah i've been doing my own hair for like the last whew, seven days so this is how i usually have it i'm gonna finish the rest of my hair tonight before I go to bed but yeah this is what I've done so far and it is past my waistline but I'm going to trim it down just a little bit a little bit before I definitely do trim it down you know with scissors or with a razor for my eyebrows but yeah this is how my hair 
looks but i wanted to do something a little different just you know having a cute little bun but having this like this i've been working with my hair like this all day today but yeah sorry this is just a extremely long video i'm so sorry but i hope you all do like this look definitely definitely please if you did not like the video that's fine um if you turned off turned it turned off and looked at something else on youtube that's fine but I highly, highly recommend that you get this palette from Profusion's website. It's a beautiful palette. It's very good for any skin tone that you are. But if you have a better concealer or better eye primer than I use, definitely go for it. Definitely get this eyeshadow palette. It's $15 on Profusion's website. Definitely, I highly recommend it. If they do not have it in stock, wait. And they will have it in stock again. So definitely get this eye shadow palette from Profusion website. I love it. And then also with the eyelash mascara in 3014 and the other one in 3015. I love these two are from Shop Miss A. I love these um, mascaras for my lower and top. I love them. It went on good. I even mean, I poked myself in the eye with my left inner right, you know, but wow, but that's just how clumsy that I am. But that's okay. I continue on with the video. So yes, definitely get these at Shop Miss A. These are about two dollars each. So yes, that I definitely highly recommend. And definitely use a setting spray. A setting spray. Definitely, yes, use that. Definitely. Any kind that you have or love or that's your favorite, definitely get that. Do that. This is from Believe Beauty, and then this is this is from like Dollar General. It's mostly at Dollar General. I haven't seen it in the Family Dollar, but it's mostly at Dollar General for un, for under ten dollars. So definitely pick that up. And the shade that I am in from Dollar General Believe Beauty product is in medium deep. So that's what I'm in for me. And then this is from She Glam. This is the settings, glowing setting spray, glowing fake setting powder, not spray. It's on. But yeah, but that's what it is. It's a glowing baked setting powder that is in chocolate from She Glam from Sheen. And definitely um, get this from also from Shop Miss A. I loved it. I love how these lip masks go on. You can definitely wear them at night after when you're done. Giving your, your face a nice cleanse, you know, wash, you know, with every beauty, whatever skincare products that you love, that you love to use, or new products. And yeah, definitely get this eye, this eye pencil, eyebrow pencil from Five Below and also at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, if you can find them, the Wet n Wild um, Coal Eyeliner and Sema Brown. Love how it goes on. It matches my braids. Um, yeah, definitely check out Profusion 2 onto their foundation. This is like the best foundation that I've ever used and have in my eyeshadow, I mean in my foundation collection that I showed you previously last year or a few months ago. I am in Deep 3 Neutral. I love it. Get you two if you're in my skin tone. It's Deep 3 Neutral or if you're lighter than me, get any foundation that will match your skin and definitely get the concealer from e.l.f. The 16 Hour Cam Concealer in Matte Finish and the shade that I am in is called Deep chestnut i love it love 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 yeah and definitely these concealers wow these are i say top secret concealer by aoa studio but by from shop miss a i loved how they went on in my under eyebrow and my top it looks super good i love these i will and i want to order some more of these but maybe if they had this in another darker shade but this is a good shade for me the shade that i am it matched my skin tone very good to the t i loved how it went on and glide it was creamy and smooth and i definitely love this one this is a soft tan that i use for my oh wow so sorry for my i what i was saying was this concealer went on very good for my for my lower part of my eyebrow and this is was the darker one cappuccino was from my upper eyebrow uh, eyebrow sorry 
but yes very very good products i loved all the products that i loved definitely pick this up at um walmart or target but if you can't find it at target definitely walmart at your local walmart that you shop at it's the elf um jelly pop do primer but if they do not have this you can go on to the elf website pick it up it should be under ten dollars that's how much it was it is now i believe or maybe it could be on sale who knows so definitely check out the elf website and then this is in the sheen website but she glam is their beauty products this is the ready set eye primer eye primer for your eyelids before you apply any eyeshadow onto your eyelids and yeah i am done with this video um definitely definitely give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe but if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for just stopping by just looking at a small youtuber like myself and the lipstick i like the lipstick but it's more like of a natural type of look but i like to add color to it but i just wanted to add something natural for this video and for this makeup look and the eyeshadow i can't talk about enough about it i like it i like it i will use it again in another makeup tutorial so yeah i will see you all in the next video please stay safe encourage you got this whatever dreams and goals you have you got this okay god bless you all please stay safe and stay well stay encouraged and god bless you all see you next video bye thanks for watching what's up youtube i meant to say before i left definitely go to twitch tv check out aries gaming is a-r-i-e-s gaming g-a-m-i-n-g nine comma s so definitely don't forget to support check out that game ladies and guys if you're into um playing video games definitely check out twitch tv because that's my fiance's channel now he's on that and he does live streaming so definitely go support 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 definitely if you like the video games or if you're a video game famer like playing video games definitely go on to that site it's called twitch tv aries gaming 90 so don't forget okay i just wanted to say that bye